Hello, Joseph here with the ClickFunnels customer education team. Today we are going to review how you can set up a PayPal product here in ClickFunnels to sell through one of your funnels. Now before we get started with these instructions, there are a couple of things you will need. First, you will need a PayPal business account and you will need an order form page as you see we have here. Now I do want to go over how this product works. We do set this up as a third party cart integration. So this works a little bit different. We will not be going to the products tabs to set this up. Instead, we'll be going to our settings tab. So let's go there. And then we're going to scroll down to our third party membership access. And this is where we will add our product. One thing to keep in mind, we do also offer a new V2 integration, which does connect as a more traditional payment gateway. If you're curious about that, check the links below this video. You can find instructions on how to get that set up. But if you are looking to just use this initial setup, perhaps you want to use PayPal alongside another payment gateway, then you will want to set it up in this way. So let's go ahead and click Add Product. And once this loads, we'll go ahead and select PayPal from the dropdown. I'm just going to call this PayPal V1. I'm going to put in the amount. We'll leave the currency as USD. Price display on order form. We can override how it appears. So instead of just showing $47, we can adjust this to say something different. In this case, I'll leave it the same. Now to move forward with this, we will actually want to set up our product over in PayPal. So go ahead and once you're at this point, pause the video, open up your PayPal account, and then come join me here again. So in PayPal, along your top navigation, you want to go to Tools and go all the way down where it says All Tools. Click on that. Once you do, you'll see a screen similar to this. And if you haven't set up a button before, you'll want to go along your left navigation to Integrate PayPal and then PayPal Buttons. You may want to favorite this and to use later. In the meantime, just click Open there. And now you're going to decide what type of button to set up. So you can choose the style, subscribe, add to cart, buy now, etc. Let's just click buy now for this example. And now once the page has loaded, we have our buy now button. And we're going to need to fill in information here. So let's go over how to fill that in. First, you will need a item name. And you will want to enter an item ID just for easy identification. It's going to put something simple in there. Put in a price. And then you can customize the button in, and it will actually show you these options accordingly. We're just going to keep this simple for the example. Shipping, again, you can add that if necessary. Same with tax rate. Now for merchant account IDs. You probably want to leave this at using your secure merchant account ID, or you can change it to use your email address. From there, if you are doing inventory, you can actually go ahead and set this up to track inventory. Uh, for this example, we're going to go over a digital product, but you, you can find out here how to set this up. It's pretty straightforward. It walks you through step by step. Now from there you have advanced features and you will definitely want to customize this. So let's go over our settings. First, you want to let your customer change order quantities for ClickFunnels. You will want to leave this as no. If you do offer multiple quantities on an item, what you'll want to do is actually create different buttons for the different quantities. Can you customer add special instructions? I would put no on this simply because the way it integrates with ClickFunnels, again, you can run into some issues. Do you need your customer shipping address? This is something you'll be collecting through ClickFunnels anyway, so I would check this as no. You can leave that as let. yes, it, it will still work. Uh, but again, just for simplicity, I'd put it as no. Now this next one's important for your business. Take customers to this URL when they cancel. So you'll want to put in a URL for a canceled order. And then when they finish, you'll want to do the same. Now for this, you'll want to grab the next step in your funnel and of course, insert that in here. Finally, you will want to add an advanced variable, but before we do that, let's actually head over to ClickFunnels and continue our setup from there. 
All right, so now that we have that set up in PayPal, we can move forward with our next step. And our next step is the cart product ID. For us, we put in CF-001. If you're unsure what you put, go ahead and pause this video again. Go reference your cart product ID over in PayPal. Next, you can set the product quantity limiter. I'm gonna leave this off for our purposes. If you have questions on how to set that up, definitely feel free to check the links below. We have a link that goes over the different steps of the order form and how the product quantity limiter works. In the meantime, before I create this product, I'm going to select this webhook, copy it, and let's hop back over to PayPal. So back in PayPal, we want to check this box to add advanced variables. Remember, we should be on this advanced feature step. We're going to type in notify URL equals, and then we are going to paste that webhook we copied from ClickFunnels and click create button. Now on this next page, you will see a button code, which you will need to set up in ClickFunnels. But first, let's hop back over to ClickFunnels. All right, so with our webhook URL pasted in PayPal, let's hit create product. And at this point, we see our product was successfully added here. Now moving forward, you will want to also add a button to your page. So what I'd recommend before doing anything else, check the links below this video, click on that link on how to set up your PayPal button. And that's going to walk you through step by step adding that to your page here in ClickFunnels. In the meantime, if you have any questions or ran into any trouble along the way, always feel free to reach out using the help icon in the bottom right corner of your screen. Until next time, happy funnel hacking.